All right, so here's what I'm up to today. Uh, my old bandsaw, it's time to change tires out. So I'll go over that a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna do uh, this. I'm gonna show you. I turned this old squirrel fan, as known as, it's also a, f uh, a furnace fan. But anyways, uh, Show you how I, how I did this. This this thing weighs probably 50, 60 pounds. I don't know. It's pretty heavy. And so, uh, anyways, I'll go over that and how I did it. But um, one reason why I put it here is one, it gets it up out of the way. Um, and then another thing is that here's where my bandsaw is. And uh, like I said, I'm changing out the changing out the tire on it, but. Um, so here's where here's where the table is, and here's where that is. So I can mount a light up here and shine on my work. Um, I'm also thinking about putting a small shelf that only is goes down about a oh an inch and a half, two inches, something like that. And then I can put all my my bandsaw blades kind of tucked up in there, out of the way. So all right, let's. Uh, Let's go over this. Um, this is a pretty old bandsaw. Uh, I got it uh, from a actually a family friend kind of thing. Um, he was he was big into woodworking and all that stuff. I bought the bandsaw from him, and I bought my big uh, table saw from him. Uh, but anyways, this is really really old. Um, it's probably original. I can't say for a fact, but like I said, it's pretty old. I'm going with some urethane, uh, a urethane tire. I hear these last a lot longer. They, um, it runs quieter and you don't have to have a, you don't have to have glue to put them on, which is kind of my main thing. So I bought a package of two of them. They were uh, I think $28 off of Amazon shipped to the house and they got here in three days. And today is Sunday so uh, I was kind of shocked that they delivered on Sunday. But uh, anyway so what you'll do of course you'll take off your cover, you'll take off your uh, uh, you'll take your bandsaw blade off and what I did was I, I tilt, you, you can of course tilt the top of this, so I tilted it back so it makes it a little bit sticky, I guess, so it, it doesn't just spin, because otherwise, otherwise that'll just spin forever. So, and I've already taken off some of this, so I figured I might as well show it. <laughs> but, uh, what I've been doing is uh, getting a little bit of... carburetor clean. This is an empty bottle, um, but there's still just a little bit in there, so I pinched the bottle to like a cone, and then I, I poked a hole in it, and then that allows me to cut some of that out. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, that has me put just a little bit in here. I think I'm almost out, anyways. But what that's going to do is that's going to help loosen up that. What that's going to do is help loosen up that grease. So what I'm doing is I'm just I'm grabbing on the side of this and the the back. Oops. I'm grabbing it like this to keep it from from moving, and with the a blunt screwdriver coming in behind it. And it's coming off. All right, so here's the here's the piece. This sh should bend, but what it's doing is it's just breaking. So definitely time to replace that. Whenever you have rubber like this. Anyways, it helps your blade track. You have 
your metal blade that's going on a, a metal wheel. So, and your blade, your blade has teeth like this. So the front of your blade is wider than the back of your blade. That allows you to cut and make turns and corners and all that in your material because the front of the blade is thicker than the back of the blade. Well, um, it has to kind of embed itself into this rubber and if this rubber is not malleable, um, if, it, if it can't push down into that rubber very well, then it's going to wear your blade out faster and you hear about um, having uh, tracking your blade which means it's not making a, a straight cut um, so you have to adjust for your blade tracking well with this hopefully after all this is said and done it will it will track better is basically what I'm getting at so I'm going to do this the rest of the way and the bottom is pretty much the exact same way so I'm going to finish doing this and I'll get back to you after I finish getting most of this off. So I'll be right back. All right, one other thing I wanted to, to point out to where you know if you need to replace your uh, tire or not is that uh, let's see how well this will show up or not. If you look straight across there, that's pretty much flat across. Now if you look this way. There's an actual crown in the uh, in this wheel here. So this has been compressed down more than the outsides, and it's now making it a, a flat spot. So whenever there's a crown, your blade will travel right on that crown. Um, that's just kind of the design of it. All right, so I, I just got a little bit longer, a little bit further to go. So we got that back. Now what I'm going to do is cant this back off to where it'll spin. And then just, again, I'm using a, a blunt screwdriver. Okay, so by far your best friend is your grinder with a uh, with a wire wheel on there. Don't forget your safety gear. But uh, basically, you're just gonna. Anyways, I got that did way better than anything else. So after you after you scrape off all the big chunks of rubber, come back in with your your wire wheel. And uh, that, uh, that did a good job. Now I'm just going to come back in. Throw some on there. And then this will help get off the dust. And if there's any residue, it'll get the rest of that residue off. See? There you go. As long as you, it's, it's clean, because you don't want anything underneath. You want this completely clean. Because if there's anything left, it's going to cause a knob or a little nub on there. And then uh, that'll transfer to that to your tire. One more thing before I put this on there. You can see that that's where the band was put together. Um, I can feel a little bit of a transition from there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, you probably can't see it. But uh, what I'm going to do is file that down some more. So I sanded that down a bit more and it's not it's not near as uh, bumpy <laughs> I guess. So what I'm going to do is clean that off and that's with the paint thinner. I don't know how this year thing will react with that card cleaner. So. 
Okay, so we're going to stick this on here. Um, this is a 14 inch uh, wheel with a one inch wide wheel. So. All right, there you go. Now here's something else you can do. does is it helps relax that belt. There might be a really tight spot down over here and a looser spot up here. But whenever you run this like this, it kind of pulls that belt up and kind of just redistributes that, that pressure all the way around, all the way around that belt. So, and you just do a couple of them. You don't even have to do it, but and just make sure it's all in that groove. On both sides, not overlapping. Um, and that's done. So now I gotta do this this bottom wheel. And in case anybody's wondering, I do have it unplugged. <laughs> so alrighty, well let me uh, let me do this bottom one and Put it back together and we'll see how it runs. I'm gonna use this blade here. Got a load, I think it is for like 10 bucks or something. So, let me switch that around. And this one. That. Get it off. Oh, yeah. This. This is the tension, uh, give you the right amount of tension on your blade. Yeah, that's too tight, so I need to lower it just a little bit, too loose. I say whenever you tap on it, it doesn't take much to tap on it. There you go, about that much. back this up because it looks like that blade is on there and looks like it's on that too so hang on so you can see right here where they welded this together and this right here you can see. see how big of a gap that is from the saw blade to the bearing and then whenever that weld comes in Look how close that is. I mean, that is that's really close, but that's that's where you get all that. That weight, that that's what that is. Okay, I'll get back with you. 
Okay, so I'm going to test this out. I think I got everything set up right. Here's a, a makeshift fence that I made. Um, real quick and dirty, nothing real special about it. Um, if it all works out and I like what, how things are working, um, I might make a complete uh, bandsaw table with the fence on it. Uh, but we'll go from there. I just got to figure out exactly what I'm doing because I don't really know. <laughs> all right. I did figure out that the the wobble in this. I know that that where that blade travels back. That's where I need to actually set where these uh, side stops are. So, and then obviously once you tighten it down, that gets rid of that slop in there. So. Okay, let's uh, start her up. Nice little platform there. So, I'll scoop this over a little bit more and make another cut. 